All right, good morning, boys and girls. Today for our grammar lesson, we are continuing to focus on proper nouns. Remember, we said a proper noun is when we show the names of people, places, and things, and we want to make sure that we capitalize proper nouns in our writing. Today, we're going to go word hunting. So I hope you have some books handy at home. If not, you can always use our uh, online libraries that we include in our slideshow. You can access my on. But today we're going to see if you can find proper nouns in your books. Quick review, we've talked about some proper nouns we had in our example sentences. Ms. Davis has bolded them for you. Remember fuzzy, Captain Plunger, and Owen were all proper nouns. The word April, was a proper noun, the name of a month. I and Chick-fil-A, the name of a restaurant. All right, I'd like you to see if you can find proper nouns in my book. So here's a page from my book. Penelope Rex was the character in the story. We don't eat our classmates. So let's take a look at our page here. Can you find a proper noun or two? page says, Penelope Rex was nervous. It's not every day a little T-Rex starts school. Do you see any proper nouns, boys and girls? Very good. Penelope Rex is a proper noun. The name of the dinosaur. Penelope Rex. There she is. Any others? Ooh, good eye. If you notice, they capitalize the letter T in T-Rex. And that's a shortened version of the word Tyrannosaurus Rex. So there were two proper nouns on that page, Penelope Rex and T-Rex. Very good. How about my next page? She even saved Griffin Emery a seat at lunch. You can sit here. Do you see any proper nouns on this page, friends? Excellent. Griffin Emery is the boy's name. Because it's his name, it is capitalized. Remember, she is not a proper noun, but because it's starting our sentence, we capitalize the first letter in our sentence. So. Just Griffin Emery were the proper nouns on this page. The name of the boy. Last one for Miss Davis's book. Oh, this picture makes me laugh every time. Mrs. Noodleman, Penelope ate William Amoto again. Oh, friends, do you see any proper nouns on this page? Yes, oh, I hope so. Mrs. Noodleman. That's the name of the teacher at school. Penelope, that's the name of our dinosaur. And William Amoto is the first and last name of a child in Penelope's class. So we had one, two, three proper nouns on this page. Wonderful job, friends. I hope you have some books handy. I'd like you to go hunting and see if you can find proper nouns in some of your books at home. Work hard and I will see you later. Bye.